Let's get lifted. Let's get lifted. Let's get, let's get, let's get lifted. On these ABCs, one, two, threes, everything you need is right in front of you. Right in front of you on these ABCs. All right, so today we're going to learn about some more icons in our community as we honor the legacy of those that came before us and those that are living today. Josephine Baker, born in 1906, passed in 1975. From the time she was a little girl, Josephine Baker was drawn to the glamor of the theater. Despite living in the slums of St. Louis and being pulled out of school before she turned 10 years old, she found the courage and had enough talent to follow her dreams. Baker danced in vaudeville houses and joined a traveling dance troupe when she was 16 years old. In 1923, she landed a chorus line spot in the Broadway sh show Shuffle Along. But it was in Paris two years later that she stepped fully into the spotlight in La Revue Nigre. Baker fell in love with Paris and the city responded in kind. She was a reverent exotic, known for her magnetic stage presence, lush body, deep red lipstick, and outrageous promotional antics, including her famous walk with a leopard down the champs, Alessis, 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 I think that's how you say it. A politically courageous woman, Baker spoke and acted against racism throughout her life and was a member of the French resistance in World War II for which she earned both the Medal of the Renaissance and later the Legion of Honor. That's our Josephine Baker, an activist. As well as an artist. Uh, Pearl Bailey, 1918 born and passed in 1990. From singing and dancing in her father's church at age three, she went on to become one of the most enduring and admired personalities of the age. Pearl Bailey's realm of expression was indeed anywhere and everywhere, whether she was singing with a frank, world-weary sexuality, conducting a television cooking show, or earning a bachelor's degree from Georgetown University in her 60s. Bailey began her stage career as a chorus girl before gaining fame as a singer in the nightclub circuit during the 1940s. A unique and underrated vocal stylist, Bailey had a string of hit records before making her Broadway debut in St. Louis Woman. She worked extensively in movies and theater where her biggest triumph was in a 1960s revival of Hello, Dolly for which she won a special Tony Award. Bailey was also known for, humani for her humanitarian work, ranging from travels as an international goodwill envoy to AIDS fundraising. The day she died of a heart attack at age 72, she had been scheduled to address the United Nations. Let's not forget how powerful we are. Let's not forget how powerful we are. Pearl Bailey, Josephine Baker, dancers, Artists, also activists, people with strong, compelling voices for their day. Thank you for getting lifted with me on these ABCs. Everything you need is right in front of you. Right in front of you on those ABCs. Thank you for learning with me.